Risk is the step you have to take to move in to your destiny. Esther chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther, Do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. For if you remain completely silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place but you and your father's house will perish. Yet, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. As we progress to the story of Esther, we come to this powerful moment in Esther's life. These are verses that we have probably heard read very often. The challenge that Mordecai sends back to Esther. You know, when Esther hears about all that has been going on in the kingdom, how Haman has obtained permission from the king Ahasuerus to have all the Jews destroyed, and how Mordecai has challenged Esther to go before the king and appeal to him on behalf of her people, Esther responds by saying, you know, nobody can approach the king without invitation. I can't go before the king unless he calls me in. But then Mordecai sends word back saying, Esther, listen. If you choose to keep silent at a moment like this, if you refuse to take a risk, then one thing we know that God will surely raise up deliverance for his people. God will not forsake his people, but you and your father's house will be at risk. I mean, nobody's going to save you and your father's house in the king's palace. Don't think that you're any more secure in the palace, but who knows that God has brought you into the kingdom. The reason God made you queen, Esther, is for a moment such as this, for such a time as this. And those words propel Esther, inspire her to take the greatest risk that she ever took in her life. She decides to go before the king uninvited, knowing that her life was at stake if the king was not pleased with what she did. But she decided to do that. She called the people to pray and fast for her that day. And she stepped up there before the king, the king, Ah King Ahasuerus. And we know the rest of the story that as Esther took this risk, put her life, that she realized that she had come into the kingdom just for a time like this, just for this great moment. And yet it took a step of risk for destiny to be fulfilled. And she did that. And as she came before the king, he, he stretched out his hand. He showed favor to Esther. And Esther was able to present her case to the king and intervene on behalf of the Jewish people. The entirety of the Jewish people were saved and protected and delivered. And the enemy of the Jews, Haman himself, was destroyed. Remember this, sometimes and very often, risk is a step you have to take to move into your destiny. But remember that when you take that risk, God undergirds your step. You're not going to fail. God has set you up and he will also see you through. Take that step of risk, move into your destiny. For it's for such a time like this that God has been preparing you for dare to make the difference. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for how you work in our lives. And we pray that you'll give us the courage to take risks, to move into our destiny, knowing that you've been preparing us for such a time as this. Let us not back off. Let us not run away in fear. But God help us to take that step of faith. We ask this in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.